Hey guys, we're here for another issue of this week's winning stocks. This is for the week covering January 2nd through January 5th of, 9th of um, 2024, I'm sorry. And as always, we're going to start with the SPY, which is the S&P 500 the Dow, and the NASDAQ. But starting off with them this week, we see that for the previous nine weeks, the market has been moving positive. It finally took a breather this week. It finally, if we look at the S&P 500, we see that red candle. We see it took a step back this week. Um, it came back down to 467.92. And then we look at the Dow. And we notice that with the Dow, it didn't really go back as much. But this week was sort of a negative doji. Um, which means it would have, um, ended a little below where it started pretty much came back to where it started. And finally, with NASDAQ, we see that the NASDAQ took a considerable jump back. Now, having said that, before I start on our stocks this week, I want to go over a few things. First off, by the markets weren't opened on Monday which is the was the first because it was new year's but on the second which was tuesday morning the markets started to take a turn down by the time it came to wednesday i dropped one of these in the channel now for you guys who are subscribed to me and you're actually buying stocks if you see me drop one of these in the channel you want to read it immediately or you want to i should say you want to look at it immediately because in there i explained that the markets was taking a turn down and i spoke about some options which is some things we that you could have done to save your portfolio some of the pain that it was going to go through in this market downturn. Also, I mentioned in there that one of the things that you could have done, I said one of the things you could have done is you could have let your stocks go for the moment. But I said if you're considering holding them long term, maybe because of tax implications, long-term capital gains or whatever. In that case, I said you may want to buy a put option, which would have protected you somewhat in terms of the market downturn. Now, um, this is... Another thing that I put in the channel, this is called How to Use This Week's Winning Stocks. And for those of you who have not seen this video, if you look at this week's winning stocks, I feel you should look at this. It tells you when you're looking at this week's winning stocks, what things to look for and how to be prepared for the upcoming week. Okay. So now we're going to go through, wasn't quite as many, but our stocks, which we had, I would normally say, moving up on our watch list, but actually, I really didn't see many or any moving up, more so moving in a sideways pattern. We had Clearfield. They're at $28.12 a share, and Yahoo analysts believe 
they can move up to $35 a share. It's not much. Metafast. Metafast is currently at $64.50 a share. It's went down a little bit more so on a sideways pattern. Yahoo analysts believe it can move up to $69.50 a share. Now, as you guys know, I rate the stocks on our watch list in three different tiers, three different classes, all fundamentally sound. But the three star are the most fundamentally sound. Two stars are under that. And the one star is the least fundamentally sound of the group, but still considered fundamentally sound. Metafast is a three star. Weiss Markets is a one star. They're currently at $65.07 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they, well, Yahoo analysts actually don't have an estimate for this one. But my own analysis based on PE ratio is that they can move up to $78.81 a share in the next 12 months. Bristol Myers Squibb, they are a two star. Currently at $52.23 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $60.38 a share. Now, they are going to be giving a dividend. Well, actually, yeah, they're going to be giving a dividend, but you would have had to own the shares before January 4th, so it's too late for that dividend. It's going to be $0.60 cents a share. Next Star Media. They are a two-star. Currently at $160.12 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $198 a share in the next 12 months. The Hershey Company, they are a three-star, currently at $187.64 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $210.41 a share in the next 12 months. Genuine Parts Company. Moving sideways again. They are a two star, currently at $136.62 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $153.64 in the next 12 months. Biogen. They are a three star currently moving sideways they were sort of a doji this week they're currently at 257 dollars and 88 cents a share yahoo analysts believe they can move up to 317 dollars and 94 cents a share in the next 12 months pepsico they are a one star moving sideways as well. Currently at $168.94 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $187.20 a share in the next 12 months. And Chevron. They are a one star. Currently at $150 and 40 cents a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $178.43 a share in the next 12 months. So guys, that is our 
the stocks on our watch list for this week. But as we spoke about when we was looking at the SPY, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, I would be careful about making purchases now until markets turn up again because we are in the beginning of a downturn. We don't know if this is going to be for one or two weeks or it's going to stretch out and last longer. So in any event, that is our this week's winning stocks for this week, January 2nd through January 5th. Have a great day and look forward to seeing you and speaking to you in the next video.